Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be sort of recreating a look that um, Scott Barnes did on Tashi's channel. He started as a fine arts painter and then kind of got into makeup by accident, which I find like really interesting and then he sort of approaches it in a different way than a lot of us do right now. So I'm going to sort of try that out today. I've sort of been trying to try some new stuff. So yeah, without further ado, we're just gonna jump right in. In the video, Scott does start out with concealer, so for today I'm going to start off with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and I'm going to be, right now, just putting this sort of um, under my eyes, and he brings it really far up the side of the nose, just sort of filling in the space, like so. So in the video, Scott Barnes does not use primer, so I'm of course honoring him not using primer. <laughs> now he uses a brush to blend this out. I don't really have one that similar to what he's using, so I'm going in with this foundation brush. I'm just going to be sort of like patting in the same sort of technique that he does and blending that out. Well, this is a look. The next thing he does is he goes in with a darker concealer. So for that, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Coco. And I'm just going to be going in right there. And then he sort of brings that along the perimeter as well pretty heavy handed and it goes really heavy under the jaw oh my god this is so scary for the nose and the lips he does something different um he takes a small angled brush and i'm just going to be using that and i'm going into that exact same fenty beauty matchstick and we're going to be using that today on the nose and the lips nose contour has never been my forte but we're going to give it our best oh my god you guys i'm scared right now This is scary. Now we are going to be taking our Morphe Y6 brush and we're going to attempt to blend this out. He used upward motions, as I recall, so we're going to give that a go. So now what we're going to do is sort of pinch the brush together because his brush, um, obviously I don't have it. So I'm just going to pinch this together and sort of just like try to blend. So we are going to go in with a foundation and I'm using the shade um, Seashell from the Too Faced Born This Way collection. And with the lips, he does just go over it with the foundation. You guys, I'm not going to lie, this is looking so good. It's a little bit like darker than what I would usually go with, but wow. This is so pretty, you guys. And I'm just bringing that down the neck as well. So he usually doesn't use this much blush, but y'all know that I love my blush. Now he goes in with just a little bit more concealer, and I can definitely see why. So I'm just going to do a little bit of this action. And then I'm just going to go in with this foundation brush that I used at the beginning and just sort of tap that in. And then once again, just dragging softly. And then he just takes this sort of like big old brush and does the under eye so he sets the under eye so I'm going to go in today with my normal stay matte powder and just set my under eye set my whole face more like Scott goes in with a contour shade so for that I'm of course um, going in with my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette he does do sort of like a little bit more of a warmer shade and we're just gonna kind of see where this goes you guys I'm really enjoying this so far so I am just going to pinch the sides like so and next thing we're going in with is of course bronzer I think today I'm going to be going in with my physicians formula butter bronzer I love this stuff you guys it is literally so beautiful and it smells so good and he goes in with a pretty heavy hand because it is so bronzy and glowy and then once again the upward motion and then he takes a sort of lightening powder and just sort of like redefines that under eye area i'm going back into my cap on the shade and light palette and i'm going to be taking this shade right here he does describe using a sort of more um pinky shade he does this thing um, in the video where he sort of just like marries everything together and like that's what I'm going to do. So this nose contour is not working for me right now so I am just going to go in with a different brush and sort of sharpen it up a little bit. The next thing that he does is highlight and I'm going to be taking 
this bad boy right here. This is, of course, the MAC Soft and Gentle highlight. You guys know that I love this more than, like, my own life. And he just, like, drenches her in him, pretty much. I do, of course, have some skin texture, but we're not going to talk about it. It's fine. So he uses a sort of powder to do the brows. So the thing I'm going to use is a mix of these two and fill in my brows today. So I'm just using that exact same brush that I used for my nose and lips because that's what he did. And we're going to fill in my brows. Okay, you guys, the brows. What do we think? <laughs> I'm just going to blend and hopefully that will fix all of everything. Yeah, they're too red. I can't. I can't. No, Johnson. Too red. I don't know what to do. They're like way too red. They're like... Yeah, they're too red. I can't. I'm sorry. I just don't think I have to take them off. You know what, guys? There you go, right? It's just makeup. Oh, I just got that in. That was awesome. So we're going to start over, but we're going to use my Anastasia brow pomade. I can't. I'm so. I can't. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Oh, so much better. I'm just going in with that um, MAC paint pot and shape tape mix, and we're just going to carve out these brows, baby. Okay, you guys, because Scott Barnes did not start with a wet base, Neither am I. And now I'm going to get my powder puff and set that in place with some loose powder. Going back in with that Max Soft and Gentle highlight, and we're just going to pop that underneath the brows here. Oh, yes. I'm going to go in to like, we're really going in with this. I'm actually going to put just a little bit on the brows just to soften them a little. And because in the video they use like a shimmery brow gel and I don't have that so we're just going to add the shimmer in advance. <laughs> now I'm going to be going in with the OG Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette because it is honestly one of the best palettes out there in my opinion. And they did a really bronzy look you guys so I think we're going to go with that vibe today. I'm taking the NYX number 17 brush with this. They only use like three colors so I'm a little bit scared. Um, I think I am just going to go right into this shade right here. And we're just going to go right in. So we're just lifting that up and putting it right there. There she is. Hello. Hello. I'm just going in with that brush I used for nose contour and literally just blending out those edges right there. Holy crap, you guys. I'm in love. Now I'm just going to be taking a mix of this brown right here and this brown right here. And I'm going to just continue to work that into my crease. And then what he does is sort of just takes that brush that he used um, for like everything else, like the concealer and everything, and puts some of those colors on it and just like does a little like, you guys I'm not even going to lie, like I'm really obsessed with this, like it's natural. So then he uses sort of like coppery sort of shade with his finger. Um, so I'm thinking that for me right now, so I think I'm going to go in with this one right here. Yeah, that's the one. Like, stop right now. I need to really fast remove all the stuff that's going on in my hand, and I also got, like, some of that Jaclyn Hill palette all over me, so. <laughs> so now I'm going to pop on some lashes and mascara. You guys, I forgot to do powder blush, and I don't know who I am anymore. I want to shoot apologetic, unapologetic. Of course, actually, fuck it, we're just going to go into both, because I can't decide. I'm literally just getting makeup all over myself, like, throughout the entire video. Like, look at, like, that's fine. That's totally chill. Now I'm going to set my brows with this Great Lash Clear Mascara. I want, like, fluffy brow realness right now. Time for lips. I want to go in with this lip liner by Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Malibu. Now I'm going in with this Avon lipstick. I don't even know what shade this is. P501. Sure. Why not? I think it's a little bit pink. So I am going to go in with this Morphe um, lip gloss in the shade uh, Freebird. You guys, holy shit. Like, I need more glow though. Oh, this is so good. It, it, it feels dirty. Now I'm going to finish the look off with some Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, of course. Wow, you guys. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. 
What a ride, truly. Holy shit, you guys. I am so incredibly happy with how this look turned out. It is actually mind-blowing. Like, my makeup looks so good right now. I just really fast want to shout out, of course, Miss Tati Westbrook and Scott Barnes. Thank you guys so much for inspiring this video and inspiring me to give this a try with whatever products that I happen to have right here. This was so much fun, you guys. I actually learned so much from this, and I will definitely be implementing this a lot into my regular routine. It was so weird, though. Like trying different techniques and like I did not use a sponge for literally any part of this look and I'm so happy with how it turned out. It looks so good. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it very very much. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe down below and ring the bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video which isn't that often. <laughs> I really really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope that you guys learned some stuff. I hope that you can implement it into your daily routines. Um, I'm really obsessed with this look. Um, I don't usually do looks like this, to be honest. I usually do more, like, crazy stuff, but this was so much fun. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's Joss Looks, and as well on Twitter, at Joss Looks, um, which I will put in the description box below. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!